Hi guys, Rose here with the Cackling Moon. Welcome to another Talk Tarot session. <laughs> um, okay, Talk Tarot. So let's uh, let's discuss let's discuss any card. Instead of me picking firsthand, let me just talk about whatever whichever one I pick. So let's see what comes through. By the way, this is the um, Rider Waite Tarot. If you don't know, oh my gosh. My bangs are driving me crazy. I'm just gonna have to part them like that. They're still kind of growing out. I cut them really short, <laughs> like a little bit shorter than I like. So they're kind of growing out funky. All right, what tarot card are we gonna talk about today? Ooh, okay. The Eight of Cups. So, get yourself a journal, your tarot journal. Get your tarot journal, get your um, pen and paper. Let's discuss the Eight of Cups. Get cozy, get a cup of coffee, a tea, water, whatever. <laughs> My water is somewhere around here. Okay, um, Eight of Cups. So. Automatically, just looking at the Eight of Cups, some keywords um, that are basic keywords from the tarot books. Eight of Cups is, to me, it's retreat, okay? It's retreat, it's walking away from. Sometimes it's looking, you can look at it as an escape, okay? Um, walking away from something that no longer serves you, walking away from an emotional attachment, so trying to detach yourselves from an otherwise emotional attachment. Um, the Eight of Cups can also be like um, physically detaching yourself from a substance, okay? So we could look at this as um, if somebody is struggling with substance abuse of some sort, um, like alcoholism or eating disorders or eating habits or emotional detachments to a toxic relationship. Um, a lot of times this could be walking away from that, making the decision to move on, okay? <laughs> um, this could also be the initial decision to take the journey, okay? The decision to take the spiritual journey, to look inward, deep, introspection right we're gonna look in deep inside of ourselves because we are identifying and identifying a more maybe like a, a something that is it could be like something that's touchy something that is toxic when when there's something toxic going on around us or about us we're not always um, prone to wanting to talk about it right sometimes we want to kind of push it under the rug or we want to not deal and the Eight of Cups is almost like you're making the decision to actually face the issues. I think I'm sitting on, I'm sitting on my slipper. <laughs> I was like, what is that? Okay. <laughs> um, so you're making the decision to actually talk about it or discuss it or, um, or, or, or actually acknowledge it. So if you're one of those people that you push things under the rug, Eight of Cups can maybe... Um, be an eight of cups in reverse. You're not ready to face it. You're you're more like going the escape route. I don't want to talk about it right now. I'll talk about it later kind of thing. Um, okay, so let's look at this card in terms of self, right? So if you pull this card and you're reading for yourself or let's say you're reading for a client and you're um, you're pulling about them and you pull this card, you could you could pretty much say that this is showing that you are going through a moment of journey, okay? That you are either about to embark on the journey of looking inward or you are hitting on almost going on the journey, okay? This is the need to look deep within. This is an emotional, um, more of like an emotional response to something that you've been going through. Notice how the cups are all aligned perfectly on top, like on uh, perfectly in the front. The figure is in the back walking away from it. And you have a space here 
I usually read this as filling the void or what emotional void is within you or the person you're reading from, okay? Um, sometimes you can look at this as the situation itself is actually perfect, but perhaps it's the individual that is the problem, okay? Because you could also look at it as the cups being all upright and perfect and stacked perfectly. Perhaps the situation you're reading about, there really isn't much of an issue, and perhaps it's actually the person, right? It could be them all along. Um, so if you're reading for yourself or someone else, you know, this is usually indicates that there is something that this person needs to address. And it's usually some sort of a, a toxicity or emotional detachment or emotional attachment, okay? This could also signify a person. So the cups themselves can be a person or your relationship with that person. It could be... <clears throat> It's just, it, what it does is it causes the need for seeking inner focus, okay? Looking in deeper. Um, a lot of times, though, if your intuition is telling you, if you pull it in the reverse, or if your intuition is just giving you the feeling that this person isn't going on a journey, they're actually running away from something, then you can look at it as that. Maybe this person is filling the void, Okay, they have a they have a big gaping hole within them and they're they're trying to fill it with miscellaneous stuff or substances. Um, so this card can actually reflect walking away from problems rather than facing them. So this card can maybe mean that you or your client needs to actually face the situation at hand. Okay. Now if you pull this card in terms of a relationship reading, um so for love type readings, this card can mean um, perhaps somebody is not yet feeling um, as attached or they're not feeling the love vibration um, as much as you are or vice versa, okay? So one person may not be ready to commit, okay? Um, maybe they're not ready for commitment or they're not looking for a, 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 a monogamous type of a relationship. So they're kind of looking outward. Um, this could be somebody who is detached or disconnected in a relationship. This card can signify somebody who's, maybe they're not communicating, okay? Maybe they are not sharing their heart. They're not being 100% honest. They're not, um, they're not opening themselves up, okay? Um, that this is a person who has a hard time expressing themselves or this could be a person that they don't know how to communicate in relationships they don't know how to <laughs> they don't know how to share their feelings okay so maybe they have some issues with that um this could also be a form of a relationship where everything appears good on the outside but on the inside there's just there's disconnect Okay, so like I said, with the with the cups, if the cups are calling to you, so when you pull this card and if your full blown attention goes straight to the cups, think about how your intuition is, what is it telling you about the cups? Are you paying attention to the fact that everything looks perfect, yet in the background or on the inside, things aren't as perfect? Or are you paying attention to the whole are you more focused on the hole in the card versus the actual cups? You know what I mean? So if you're focused on the hole, perhaps there is a void that one is feel, filling or trying to fill in the relationship or in their personal dating life. So if somebody is single and you're focusing on the void, maybe there's a void that needs to be filled and is this person filling it in a positive way, okay? Um, if this is a relationship and you're looking and you're focusing on the whole, maybe there are um, things that need closure. Or if this is a person who is single and they get this card and you're focusing on the whole, <laughs> this could be somebody who needs to de deal with closure. Somebody who is maybe looking more towards the past because this, this figure kind of almost looks like they're walking backwards into the past, right? So maybe this person um, tends to live in the past or they have issues with exes and they haven't yet seeked closure and so that's why they're not able to move forward in love, okay? 
Um, this card can also give the time frame and future sense with love um, of maybe a relationship that might dwindle away, a relationship of disconnect, a relationship of parting ways, okay? It just depends on the other cards that you pull and then obviously what your intuition is telling you, okay? Um, now, if we're looking at this in terms of relation, or not relationships, in terms of money or career, um, this could be somebody who is soon or already pondering the idea of moving on from their current um, job status. So somebody who's looking for work. Um, this could be somebody who's already left work and um, they didn't have anything piled up, you know, like there wasn't a cushion to fall on. So they left their job and now they're kind of looking, <laughs> they're looking for work and they haven't found anything. Um, this card could reflect that, you know, things aren't as bad in the workplace. Of course, this would be like an intuitive feeling if you have a, that feeling, If but I'm just going to put it out there. I like to put like a bunch of different scenarios. So if your intuition is telling you, you're, you're looking at the cups part and you're like, you know what, things don't look that bad, but you are the one that's disconnected. Maybe you need to be more of a team player. You could read it that way too. Um, in terms of money, it could be not, you're not, your heart isn't in it. So if it's a situation of should I keep going forward with this line of work or, or not, it could be maybe your heart's not in it. You're walking away from something that you were once passionate about, but no longer. Maybe it just doesn't fulfill you. Um, that kind of thing. So you could read it in, you know, in that sense. Um, if you're reading like future tense of what's coming with money and you were to pull this card, I would kind of look at it as, um, keep looking, <laughs> keep looking. Maybe the current job that you're, you're in isn't quite the right fit and you're going to be looking elsewhere. Um, maybe money isn't going to be as tight. So it's going to, or money isn't going to be as abundant. So you might want to, Think about adding a little bit extra in the savings account just in case. Um, so you could look at it as that. This could also, okay, so I just, Spirit just said study. So you could also look at this as moving away, going away to study, to to adapt, to, to evolve, not adapt, to evolve your studies, to evolve your experience level. So maybe this is, this card would pop up for somebody who should be looking towards um, taking a class or um, doing some sort of cert certification course to better themselves for a job opportunity that they want to obtain or for the present job that they're in to, in order to advance. Um, okay, so let's look at this in terms of spirituality. So spiritually speaking, this card would automatically tell me that you are not connected spiritually or that you are looking for something else that is more fulfilling to you. So if someone were to um, come to me for a spiritual reading and I pulled this one, I would definitely say you are searching for the meaning to life. You're, you're searching for your soul purpose. You are searching for what who, what or who is God to you. How do you express your, your belief system? You know, this is somebody who is on a soul searching basis. Um, I would play, I would, I would basically say your present faith or your present form of <clears throat> form of um uh what? <laughs> what was i thinking your your present way of expressing your spirituality so the way that you if you go to church or if you um if you read the bible or if you are completely you know spiritual in a different way whatever it is perhaps it's not presently working with you or you're feeling disconnected okay so this could be a disconnect with god or a disconnect with um the divine or yourself, okay? Um, so I would I would read this card as kind of like somebody who is going on the the search for their soul's purpose. They're they're looking for a new way to connect to God energy. Um, now, if we're looking at this in terms of um, not spirituality of the future, so a lot of times, like if you do a future reading, this card can show moving on, okay. Seeking closure some way or somehow, but moving forward. This is this is a card of journey. This is a card of not staying still. So maybe this could indicate a move, a big move for yourself or your client in the future. This could indicate moving away or walking away from somebody that no longer serves you. 
um, like leaving old habits, okay? Um, whatever the case may be, this is just to me, it's a movement card. It's an action card. There is action taking place in the card. There is a need for action to take place within you. So this is not a card to talk about stagnancy or staying in place. This is definitely a card that describes moving on. Sometimes you could look at it as moving on into the past for closure or shadow work or just in order to kind of identify issues about yourself that maybe you haven't addressed. Or you could observe this. It just depends on how your intuition is, is telling you. But you can also observe this as moving on into the future. Okay. So um, it just it's really interesting how one card <laughs> can be read so many different ways. But really it depends on one, the question, two, the client's energy, and three, what your intuition is telling you. So that is the beautiful Eight of Cups. I hope that this helped you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in for another little bit of talk tarot. And if you have any questions or any additional um, you know, keywords or ideas of what the Eight of Cups means to you, go ahead and leave it below in the comment section. We could start that dialogue. And um, happy tarot studies, and I will talk to you later. Bye, my loves.